this interview started, all these guys were obviously in a very, very, very good mood. They were all singing away to themselves. Now they're all suddenly on their very best behavior. So obviously, you guys, this is like a moment of triumph in in so many ways, right? So a, a triumphant moment, especially for you, Abhishek. I know you're saying this is a group thing, but you know we're seeing you back after a very, very long time. We've seen some really heartfelt interviews also of yours. So is this a moment of of reckoning, so to speak, for you? It's a it's a very precious moment, actually. That's true. Mm. <clears throat> it's been four years since my last film came out, and uh, you know, worked so hard on this. I mean, I didn't make another movie for four years, yeah. especially after having a successful film. My heart, my energy, everything was consumed by this movie, and today it's all come to fruition. And you know, we are getting some good reviews. People are responding well. It's a uh, uh, I feel numb more than anything else. Numb. Okay, that's yeah. not something I would have expected. And you know, like obviously, all you guys are such lovable characters. But I have to say, I had a little bit of a soft corner for your character, Raj. <laughs> sorry, I have to. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be choosing favorite, <laughs> but so a little much. bit of a soft corner Thank because you. your character was really adorable. He was the one I was like totally rooting for because <laughs> I think secretly somewhere I'm a bit of a geek as well. How was it like, you know, playing you know, playing this character? It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I've never done this before. I've never played a character like Govind before, yeah, actually, and to play a yeah. Gujarati, and then to make it like, uh, you know, as you said, uh, that. He's a little geek, but then make him lovable. That yeah. was the challenge which I was working on, and yeah. I'm glad you, you liked it. Yeah, absolutely. And don't worry, I love the two of you as well. <laughs> They're both like, what about us? <laughs> so, Shant, obviously, you know, I didn't go for you because you know you're the kind of girl everybody is going to fall in love with. You know, you don't want to fall in love with the guy. Everyone's going to fall in love with. And your character was in the movie. You know, we're all your fans, and I'm sure you're going to have a huge fan following after this. This, especially for you, is is really really important because it seems to be almost like a springboard into into superstardom. A lot of people are saying. Is that weighing on your shoulders heavily at all? No, it's not. Uh, basically, I don't uh, see it like that. Hmm. Uh, it's just that I'm getting right kind of roles in the films, yeah. and these are wonderful filmmakers, and I couldn't have asked for more. I mean, like debuting with in a film made by Abhishek. So I'm just glad I'm just working hard not to disappoint them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And okay, so you have the brains and you have the brawn. And in the film, you're like, you know, you guys have the stamina for cricket. You have the stamina for, you know, for maths. What do I have the stamina for? But you feel that that was what made your character interesting because he kind of falls somewhere between the two. He's not the out and out brawny one. He's not the out and out brainy one. But is that what made it special to you in some ways? Yeah, he's just excellent there. performance, by the oh. way. You really felt for you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, Omi is a. It, it's a very complex character. There's so many layerings with it, and I think he just comes in his own space with his friends, Ishan and uh, Govind. Mm. And because I think Shushant and Raj were so spectacular, I was feeding on them as well. Yeah. And uh, again, I mean, great. Uh, I mean, thanks to Gattusa and his team of writers who've yeah. made Omi. Because Omi, if you see in the book, he's not much in the yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the way they've uh, etched this character, uh, and it's just it's, it's been wonderful. It's it's been a life changing. Yeah, for me. I'm sure yeah. it has, and when you watch the film, also it is a life-changing experience because you do come out of it feeling inspired. At the same time, you feel a little, you feel a little remorse also, perhaps for the people you've hurt in your life at some point of time, maybe unknowingly. And I think the main message that kind of comes across is actually, I think to me, it was forgiveness. But you know, all of us are human. What is the one thing you would not be able to forgive a friend for? The one thing you'd absolutely not be able to forgive a friend for? I think the way forward in life is uh, forgiveness. So, That's uh, a politically correct answer. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no seriously, I mean, yeah, you have to yeah. forgive and move ahead. You can't. You have to turn the page over in mm. times. And every individual goes through uh, such such a situation. I think. Mm. So in in life, I mean, of course, there will be a, if, if somebody does bad to me, I'm going to be upset for some time. But mm. then after after, after some time, just had to go, let go. Someone is like you know holding a bomb in your hand and yeah. shutting your fist. Yeah. I mean, the only one you're hurting actually is yourself. Yeah. And uh, you know, forgiveness, guilt. Yeah. You know, I mean, to forgive yourself uh, is is so important sometimes. Absolutely. You know, to just let it go. And most people find I have a lot of problem with guilt and uh, forgiveness, and these are issues I've dealt with. You know, mm. and uh, this was a very important. Like when I was thinking of making this film, uh, the, like you mentioned, mm. because you brought it up, mm. forgiveness. And I mean, that was uh, in the very earlier drafts of the script. I knew where I want to take the movie, so we rewrote a lot in the middle. But the end of the film was exactly the way I thought of in the beginning itself. The, you know, the redemption and forgiveness. And guilt. I mean, these are powerful uh, um, emotions, and they're just they're just killing you on the inside, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. well, and and you know that is something you actually leave the theatre with. So that is really the I think the ultimate. And what about you, Rajman? Is there anything that you have perhaps not been able to forgive a friend for? Nothing that sort of actually has happened as of now. But yeah, of course, if my friend, if my best friend goes to Amsterdam alone without taking me. <laughs> <I'm laughs> Finally, the boys are being boys. <laughs> 